one of the pains and pangs of uh, fall back to school is the weather does get colder and it is actually much colder. It's, uh, it's only 43, it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, it's only 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is cold. Uh, I went outside, I threw out some garbage. And this is the beginning of the vlog for uh, September 22nd, Tuesday. But what happens is, is that the cold is really nice to sleep. It really makes you sleepy. And I feel sorry for kids who have to go to school. Oh, you have to have a schedule. You have to get up early in the morning. Uh, why don't kids want to get... Well, why don't people actually... Because I know there are adults who don't want to get up early in the morning, like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's because when it's cold, you want to be you want to be sleeping. It's basically uh, a hibernation response, and so you go outside. It's cold. It's brisk. It wakes you up, and you go back to your place, and it's nice and warm and toasty, and you don't want to leave. You want to go back to bed. <laughs> it's kind of the situation here is that uh, uh, even though my well, part of it is because my sleep is cut short on a regular basis, uh, so I'm not getting the full sleep. I'm not getting the full rest. But I should be getting uh, that uh, my body just wants to be back in bed again and seems to be calling out for it. the body seems to have this sort of intuition and senses hey get back to bed you're, you're gonna go back to sleep this is particularly when your body is uh, a lot of times after weightlifting um, or doing any physical exercise for any of you haven't done that physical exercise for a long time, the body lets you know its displeasure, even though it's getting better, uh, <laughs> by the amount of pain that you have, the soreness. Uh, and my soreness seems to have turned out, particularly in the right leg, that because uh, so, the way you stop with the uh, scooter is you, part of it is you use your you use your feet. Uh, particularly when you get slow enough that uh, uh, the balance on the scooter is, is rather uh, precarious, you end up using your feet to do, to do the balance load. Uh, if you land on it the wrong way, and apparently I did, and you you kind of roll the ankle, and that's what's happened. Is I've, I realize that the, the pain is more than just the soreness of, that of, of exercise, that I have also rolled the ankle on one of the stops. Uh, I'm still learning how to get the. Uh, I'm still adjusting to the brakes of the bike, and so it. it uh, my my landings, my stoppings are very are are not what they should be in terms of uh, you know in terms of the you know the 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 I guess you call the 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 the, the um, proper functioning of the bike in terms of uh, your operate the operation of the bike uh, you as the operator are less than sufficient uh, but yet you're still going anyway but the thing is if you don't do it you don't you're not going to learn so <laughs> you just keep the slower speeds you stay in the right lane and you know you don't try to be doing anything that's you know heroic because you're still learning Excuse me. I had a bit of I had a glass of milk and some uh, the the rice crackers. They're, they they can be used as a breakfast. And uh, I'm gonna be going back to bed soon, very soon. Well, as soon as I finish this, opening up the vlog. It is a, you 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 learn as you go along. This that's kind of how things end up working out. And I said. Things start back up in September, uh, and we're into the uh, the second or third week of September. And my, my um, I'm increasing my meditation. The meditation is an important part of your life uh, when you're a practitioner of the path. Uh, and this is because the, the meditation brings in added benefits. There's there's actually a learning process when you do the meditation. So uh, you don't again you don't start off amazing. You start off bit by bit and slowly. As the months and years go by, you increase your what we call the practice, and these are your the the, the practice of the meditation are the spiritual exercises to uh, improve the quality of the soul, the ability of the soul, the uh, the radiance of the soul, because it's it's part of your what they call the aura, 
Oh, when people say, "Oh, you, you, you have an aura," well, they're talking about the that they're talking about the soul. That's that's the evidence of the soul. Where before, in in classical mechanics, you would say, you know, in classical physics, they say, "Ah, oh, it's all you know, bunkum," and this is where a lot of your debunkers will come from and on the classical side. Uh, when you get into quantum mechanics, and this is the whole thing that Planck had done, is it no, not so fast? Uh, we don't know everything that is there going on in the universe, and now we find out that uh, our actual knowledge of the universe <coughs> is rather pitiful. It, it, it maxes out at 5%, because what, 95% of the universe is dark matter, dark matter and dark energy, and we have no idea what that is. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. And just like that, uh, another day slips away. It's 5.45 a.m. On Wednesday, September 23rd, and we are now ending the vlog for... <clears throat> for Tuesday, September 22nd. It's... is it... The days... Not only in some manner disappear... You think you're doing, you know, some aspects of the day feel slow and cumbersome, but the rest of the day and into the night seems pretty quick. It's it's, it's a um, it goes by and almost a blur. Is it? Did that day just pass? And people wonder why. How does ten years uh, pass you by? Where did your childhood go? And so on and so forth, and they look back and remember, you're 35 years old, and say, well, or even older, say, well, where did my childhood go? Well, you were out having fun, sort of. <laughs> it's interesting when you, and this is, this is what happens to me when, uh, I'm just out getting up the game again. I finished my YouTube stroll around 2 o'clock in the morning, went to knock off a little bit, uh, and came back just about now for like 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is actually the time I need to be here, but I've got a few minutes before that before that occurs, so uh, why not end the vlog, because I'm here anyways. Uh, and when you're parched, what do you think is the best thing to do? For me, the best thing, the only thing that I want when I'm really thirsty is is ice water. <sighs> Which means I have to make more ice. I've actually gone through almost an entire bag, a large Ziploc bag of ice. Uh, so I have to do uh, tomorrow. I'll have to sit there for. Uh, it, it make the, the ice maker will works at uh, 48, 48 cubes every hour and a half. So I'll have to make three or four bags. So it will be it will be uh, much of the day. I'll, I'll spend making ice. I just put it in, go off and do something, come back, empty it out, fill it up again, and repeat it a, a couple more times. That's the process of making ice. It's, it's cheap. It cost me five dollars to do that in terms of uh, the overall cost of everything. Uh, my ice maker. It's just an ice cube tray that holds up forty-eight cubes that, that produces, you know, uh, forty-eight cubes at a time. And this, this is the tray I showed you before. It's the green one that came in. I'm using right now. Uh, and. It's a it's a nice thing. I I, I do enjoy my ice water. It's, it's, it does uh, satisfy the thirst. It wakes me up. Uh, it clears away uh, enough of the mental fog that uh, one begins to realize that a large chunk of the mental fog when you wake up. In many cases, this is due to dehydration. That the, the the body, the brain doesn't have enough water 
uh, to continue functioning at the way it usually the way it usually does. So, yay for that! And and I'll explain more about my YouTube stream probably uh, later on in the day. I'll come back and do another uh, when we, we start to vlog in about a half hour, forty five minutes. I'll uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit more about the YouTube stroll. Because uh, I've adjusted it, and I'm, I'm working on uh, getting the graphics for the new channels I've added. Oh, uh, I've also spoken to one of the YouTubers on uh, our family nest, a bit sort of in contact with Candy. Uh, every vlogger at some point, some point in time has a question. Well, well, what am I doing wrong? In other words, you don't ha you see another channel, another family channel. They're doing very very well. You were doing very well, but now you're not doing as well as you did before. And that's because in many cases the situations change. So the question is, when the situations does, do change and you're stuck in this particular position, uh, it's not that what you're doing is necessarily wrong. Maybe there needs to be an adjustment. You need to sort of rethink or reconfigure how you're doing things. To adjust to the new realities. The other thing is, it, 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 in many cases, it is the discussion that, that may well, okay, if someone's going off and getting a job and your family that uh, and not vlogging, maybe the incentive would be more along the lines of, of like a profit sharing type of thing. Like if you're making enough money to buy a house uh, and you're doing well enough in there, let's look at the people who are in the vlog and ask the question, well, do you want to make more money and give an option as they vlog, if they vlog, uh, to give them more money, you know, based on the amount of time that they spend vlogging, you know, and then adding to your channel, adding to your brand, uh, because it, the, the, YouTube is actually a T, it, it, you need to treat it like a TV station, you're a channel, and yes, okay, you have the one content there, but you don't have to have, you don't only have to have that one content. You can work on other things. That's part of your job is to, to you know, to create the content there. But uh, it's always a, a difficult thing that's hit and miss all the time. You don't know what people are going to like or what they're not going to like. And so you got to sort of stick in there and, and try different things out. Glentis is finding this out. Uh, and now it's uh, can Easter in our family nest. Uh, the Ridges, I don't know what they're necessarily doing. Um... Uh, they they've gone from posting on a daily basis to uh, posting almost every other day. Uh, so 